I'm Monica. I'm, I was born in Rechi, at the Bunahafo region. My dad was a military man. We lived there for some time. I lived part of my life in Kumasi too. And uh, in Accra too as well. I, uh, I was born in BA, Wenchi, in Abuna Hafu region. Okay. Yeah. So I lived my life, a, a little bit life in the north, from 6 years to 13 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I continued in Kumasi from 13 to 18 years. I left Kumasi back to Accra. And that's how I live my life. I used to live with my auntie in Kumasi, who was working for Miss Nadine. I lived with her for three years, and that's what she was doing. And actually, I love children. So I pick up from there the way she was caring for the children. That makes me to also start to be a nanny. Yes, I have two. I have 20 years and 15 years. One boy, one girl. Yeah, my first nanny job was the one I worked with Madame Randa. And that was her first child. And it was so funny because she didn't know much about child and I also didn't know much. So it was like we learned from each other, from each and every one little experience. And after one year, I was perfect than her. She got pregnant after one year, and I was taking care of the first one, and I took care of the second one as well. And that is where I took my career from, to be a nanny. I was then 19 years. Wow. Yeah. Then you have a lot of experience. Yeah. So how many years have you been a nanny? From 19 years to today. That's more than 20 plus yes. years. Yes, but when they come to Ghana, they leave their children with you when they are traveling outside. They leave their children with you wherever they are going. And you have to be with them day and night to take care of them. You have to report every bit that about their child, whether the child is eating well or not. The way the child sleeps, how many hours a day, how many hours intervals feeding, all these things you have to take note of it and report to them. The good experience I have to be a nanny is that I used to take care of Miss Ali children, Serena and Hassan, when they were leaving. They are the children that I can't forget about them. When they were leaving, by then Serena was uh, seven years, Hassan was three years. They could not write anything, but from the day three months I had to leave Ghana, they always draw something saying, oh, we are going to miss you, you are the best nanny we ever have. And I was really impressed, and I was impressed with the recommendation from their dad and mom, and they really appreciate my job, and I also appreciate their staying in Ghana for four years I lived with them. I really enjoyed their stay that I can never ever forget about them. I really enjoy staying with them. Yeah. I can't even stop saying it. <laughs> yes, I had a bad experience. A lady who just arrived in the country working for Nivea company in UK, he has to she has to go back and close down and come and live with the husband here. She left the child with me and this girl developed a convulsion overnight and I have to rush her to the hospital once I'm calling the husband also so out. And it become a, a challenge because the husband go out with their girlfriend that I can't tell the madam that that was what happened. So it was a secret between me and the husband not to reveal it and I never reveal it. That was my bad experience with that child and Lord and behold, the child survived in the hospital, at the Nyahu hospital. I think if Dr. Nyahu was still alive, he would remember this story with me at that night. And God really guides me on that day. I thank God for her life. Mm -hmm. That was my bad experience being a honey. Yeah, to be a, a nanny is not about a skills, but you should be someone who has passion for children, who loves children, who have a big heart for children. There are a lot of challenges about children. 
we have different way of raising a child. So to be a nanny, it's not about the skills you are applying, but about it's about your patient being with children because each child with the way they behave. So if you don't have a big heart, you can't be a nanny. You can't just wake up overnight and say, I want to be a nanny. You can't do that. You have to know yourself and know how patient you are with children before you can be a nanny. So to be a nanny, you need a big heart and you should like children. If you're not okay with children, you can't be a nanny. Yeah, as I first said, mm -hmm. to be a nanny is not about the age, okay. it's about the passion. Some people are grown, they don't have passion for children, they work for money. You can see a small girl who has never given birth to before, but that girl can take care of a child even better than the mother who has given birth to the child. So it's not about the age, but it's about the passion you have. Some people have passion, some people don't have passion. So to be a nanny is not about the age. Yeah, if you're a new mother and you're hiring a nanny, you should hide. Don't think about the person having children before or not, but look at the person's experience. Because it, it doesn't have anything to do whether you have children or not. If you're a new mother, look for a, a, a person who has passion for children. Maybe she never had a child before, but she had experience more than you being the mother. And if, you have, if you're a new mother and you have a nanny, observe the nanny the way she is, then you compromise with the nanny to take care of your child. If there is something not going well, have a nice time, just have a chat, oh, how is this one like, I don't know, do you know, this, 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 this. Then you have to always be, you have to compromise with the nanny, and the nanny have to compromise with you. It's not a fight, it's not an anger. If there is something you don't get, it, just have a nice time, discuss it, and get it right. Either than going off shouting and here and there, it doesn't help for the child. Because it's not nice for children to be seeing this kind of things. Yeah, so if you're a new mother, hold your heart, no matter how you can go off, but hold your heart. <laughs> okay, if you want to hire a leaf in nanny, leaf in nanny, you provide all the things she needs in the house to stay in the room. Whatever she needs, it depends. Either you share your food with her, or you buy for her to do her own food. It depends. That one is individual decision. Maybe you want to share your food with your nanny. Maybe you don't want to share your food with your nanny. But you make sure that she's okay to take care of your child for you. Because it's not advisable to keep a nanny that you don't give food. You don't provide what she needs and she'll be walking outside with your child, maybe you are not in the house, looking for food to buy. It's inconvenient. You may feel that I'm paying her, she has to go out to get the food, but think about your child. Where is she carrying your child to go and buy the food? Where are they passing? Is it safe for your child? Ask yourself. So the point is, it's not about the charging that the nanny will charge you, I want this amount. But the things you provide for her, that will also cause the salary down. Because if you are giving her food, you go out, maybe you are someone who travels outside the country or whatever, you are always in Ghana, you go out, you see something, you buy for your nanny. The things you'll be doing for her, if you are nice with her, you will not have a challenge with salary. But if you are not nice with her, yes, she will demand for more. Because for instance, you are not giving food. She will calculate the food. Whatever she's using, transport, transport, and all this. Thing. But if you provide it, then that means the salary. Even if the salary is, is the salary is less, I don't think she will be worried because what she's using the money to buy, you're already giving it to her. So that's how it is. Because you can't compare the whites and the blacks. There are difference. So what's the difference between the difference for with the whites? With the whites. We have overtime amount that you charge. We have the babysitting you charge. That one is between you and your madam. Because they go out in the evening a lot. They have the overtime, maybe she's working, she's supposed to come and close you four o'clock. If she can't five o'clock, that's overtime. She has to pay you. Then you have your end of year, you have your senate. 
and what have you it's a whole lot so it's quite different from the Spartan Ghana mm -hmm. uh, those things are you know some kids eh, some kids are very very difficult very very difficult even you being the mother you can just tell that my child is difficult so that is why I said you need someone with passion for children because the child some kid can do you something if you don't hold yourself of course you end up doing something to the child and you regret that one is quite true some children are really really difficult so if you don't have passion for children and you are taking care of them honestly you end up sometimes you do the thing without knowing it but if you have a passion you when the child start to misbehave you say ah oh, this one is a child it's normal at this age no that's what they do you take it easy but if you don't have a passion you feel that you see some nanny will start to insult your witches is like your mother witches you just evil child like your mother <laughs> you'll be hearing all those things out of frustration because she's also fed up so all the child and the mother become a witch now <laughs> it's, it's all about the heart if you have a passion if you don't have a passion you can't be a nanny it's not easy to take care of your children mm -hmm. some children are really difficult it's not easy very very difficult it's so easy so that is it oh i don't i personally don't mind whether you are a boy or a girl i like i don't have a choice of liking children i like all sex yeah i'm okay with all i actually prefer the zero Day because with that you raise her to understand you you can control her because she know you from day one especially when you take her to the game centers even if she see other child being rude spitting on the other children that they don't listen yours will be different because you started with her you have a skills of giving her a sign yes and no but uh, when they are one year two years going it's not easy because they already grow up with a different nanny. So you find it a bit difficult mm -hmm. for them to understand you. So I personally enjoy the zero to control mm -hmm. them when I'm out with them. And I'm always okay with them like in that way. Okay. So most of my job was the zero to whichever age before they were in the country. Have you had a situation where um, your, your boss or where the the husband of the 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 woman what am I saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. they often do that. What I want you to know is, if if you have Ryan. a husband Ryan. who always say, Ryan. "Oh, let's leave the nanny in the house." Let me go and drop you here. I'm going to Soso a soul place and come back. Be alert. That is what they do. They will tell you, stay in the house with the nanny. Then they will tell you, the wife, go here. I'm going to pick something somewhere here. Then they will turn back and come and be worried the nanny in the house. That's what they do. So you have, if you are a wife, you have to be smart. And that is where if you are nice with your nanny, she will never do this. But if you are difficult with the nanny, it is a way of punishment. <laughs> so, wives, you be nice. So, wife, be nice with your nanny for the sake of your children and your husband who harass. They harass a lot. After the men, some of them, yes, excuse me, not all, of them. not all of them, but some of them, they harass the nannies a lot. That one day is true. I can't deny that fast. Uh, my current madam understand the situation she asked me to stay in the house for three weeks she paid me all right without complaining she was okay with it I only have uh, four of my friends work for Indians and Lebanese that they wanted they are doing leave out and they wanted them to stay live in because of the government and they also didn't want 
that was the challenges they have and they have to stop their job they stop not they didn't ask them to stop but they were not okay with the agreement but those uh, people travel outside the country they still earn their salary to their return back to Ghana again so I personally wasn't having any challenges with the government my madam current madam understand the situation and I was also okay Yeah, in my case, I never work with a woman who know how to even cook something for the children. They only know how to give them this uh, already made food in the bottles and stuff. So always I have to create something for them. So the mothers, I don't, I didn't meet a lady with ideas of like in like the cook vegetables in the house they only buy the already made and those things so i'll be advising oh let's make this one let's make this one and they always cook yeah they are very cooperative they understand that it was okay try and they, later on you'll go to know that what i'm saying is right they will avoid the bottle food and the child will start eating Ghanaian milk, Tosafi is fine, Tosafoko is fine, Pantomre uh, with uh, plantain is cool, Coco Yam is fine, then uh, uh, Banku, Banku, some children doesn't like okro. If a child is okay with okro, fine. If she's not okay, she's okay with the Pantomre too. We can prepare some Pantomre. So it depends on the child. Actually, children, the food is all food is good for children, but it depends on the child, what the child like. So you try all the local small small dishes like the tosafi, bamboo, the contemporary, uh, like apaprasa if you know how to cook it. Yeah. So if the child is okay with that one, then you try. But some children are not okay with it. When you are at your early age, it helps you a lot for your own children yeah. and it helps you to be neat. It helps you, your lifestyle become different from your other colleagues because the environment, the way you, the, your way of doing things is quite different. That's the benef one benefit. And you learn a lot. You learn a, you learn a lot from uh, like electrical appliances. There are some things you didn't even know what it is, but when you are learning, you learn how to. And it helps you a lot. Uh, it has made me like if I'm in the midst of a different people. They also see my way of doing things very different. It makes you a lady. You know how to be in a public, you know how to eat in a public. You, I mean, and if you are married to, you know how to take care of your husband. You know how to serve your husband. You, I mean, it helps you. It helps a lot. Honestly, it helps a lot. And uh, one lesson to, you know, when you, uh, to work with the wife. Honestly speaking, you, you end up having so many things that you don't buy it. You see your room very nice because when they are leaving, a whole lot of things come to you. So it's one nice time. It's a nice time. Because when someone visits you, they person not give you a respect. You see the room very different. And I just imagine thinking that it's your money, but nothing. <laughs>